Well, almost 1,500 people have now been sent incorrect COVID test results after another massive blunder by a Sydney pathology clinic. It began when 400 negative test result messages sent by Sydney Path on Christmas night were later determined to be positive. Now, another 995 pathology patients have been told their results were sent prematurely. The mix-up has caused stress, that's an understatement, for those who thought they were doing the right thing and getting tested and then unknowingly returned to the community and their families while infectious. Joining us now are Sydney residents Lucy Rosenberg and Liam Spagnolo, who were both impacted by this blunder. Good morning, you both. Um, Lucy, I'll start with you. What did you think when you received the negative result on Saturday night? You had some symptoms, didn't you? Yes, I had definitely had all the symptoms, um, like textbook, um, which I definitely knew I had it. So when I received the negative, it definitely shook me and it kind of, like I was really confused and I was like, can I go out now? Am I allowed to be free? But surely that's wrong. Do I have to book a doctor's appointment? I was calling my mum. Yeah, I was quite, quite distraught and like confused what to do. Mm. So what did you do? Well, I just, I stayed home and called my mum and tried to figure it out what to do. And she said, well, go get tested again because you definitely have all the symptoms. Um, but then for me, that really kind of, um, I don't want to use the word, but kind of upset me because then I thought, well, if I get tested and it comes back positive, mm. then that's going to prolong my isolation period. Mm. Mm. That's right. I mean, you did the right thing by the sounds of it, though. Yeah. Well, I knew I definitely had it. You know, I had all the symptoms and I was definitely sick out of nowhere. Um, so, yeah, I knew to do the responsible thing and stay home. Yeah, and thank, thank God you did. Liam, you didn't receive a follow-up message on Sunday morning. Did, did you think you were in the clear? And what did you do? Because you actually went out and about about <laughs> your daily life. It was Christmas after all. Yeah, that's right. I felt so bad because all my family, all my relatives had done their Christmas shopping for me. So as soon as I saw that negative text message, I thought, what a great opportunity for me to be in the clear um, and do all my Christmas shopping um, on, on the 26th of December. I actually had all the symptoms, I guess, relating to a cold as well. So that text message saying that I was negative validated that. Mm. So that's exactly why I went to um, Bondi and um, went to the gym as well because I actually thought I was in the clear. But, you know, receiving that text message yesterday saying, oh, sorry, your results are being, you know, reviewed... It scared me because I'm like, holy crap, I've put so many other people in front of me um, with the, you know, a lot of people who are immunocompromised as well mm. that I know, you know, their lives are at risk and their health are at risk. Um, and it actually genuinely scared me. And you're just two cases. We're talking about 1,400 people who have done potentially similar things. We haven't received much more information except for it was human error. Have, have you guys mm. been told anything else? Any, any more reason for this happening? Uh, any more investigation into what is happening, Liam? Not yet. I mean, um, I received a text message last night saying I was positive not long after um, that uh, segment went on to air last night, about half an hour later, saying I was positive. Um, it just said it was a clerical error, so there was not much... Um, yeah, not much news after that or reasoning. So I'm just very... Obviously, we're all very confused. Well, all the best with uh, your recovery, Lucy and Liam as well. Um, and thank you for, for doing the right thing and, and uh, I guess, staying at home for as much as you could uh, until you fully <laughs> understood the situation. Thanks so, so much for joining us and all the best with your recovery.